These rhinos, caught in the wild in South Africa, are living in captivity in China. Rhinos don't live in groups. You know, you see those rhinos there. That's a very abnormal social setting for rhinos. So they're under a lot of stress. They are here because of their horns. It's a centuries old tradition in China to use rhino horns as medicine. And so it's very ingrained in society there to go to rhino horn if you have a, a medical problem. But Teleki says there's no scientific proof rhino horn cures disease. <laughs> Video from an investigation shows vendors trying to sell the stuff. It's worth about 60,000 US dollars per kilogram if you were to buy it on the streets, you know, in China or Vietnam. And that is more than the street value of cocaine. So it's extremely lucrative to be in that illegal trade. But not all rhino horn is taken from animals in captivity. Those horns don't grow that fast. There's never going to be enough in captivity to actually satisfy the markets. Roughly 400 are poached in South Africa every year. They saw off the horn, which involves basically taking off the whole front of the face. The rhino actually survives sometimes for a few days without a face. It leaves a lot of orphaned baby rhinos. It also leaves a much smaller rhino population, some of which are a critically endangered species. What's driving them to extinction is demand for rhino horn in the traditional medicine markets of China and Vietnam. We're looking at 10 years or so before there are none left. Making convincing Asian markets to stop the rhino horn trade all the more urgent. This is one of the absolute keys to saving rhinos is to figure out a way to convince people not to use rhino horn.